I'm not enjoying the waft anymore. Come on, tractor. Hello, you absolute legends. Welcome back to the channel. John here on a beautiful morning here in Lincolnshire. Just gone seven o'clock. I've literally just rolled out of bed. That's why I'm looking a little bit uh, scruffy this morning because it's MOT time for the Audi A4 B5. If you've seen the videos on the channel, Dad and I recently got it recommissioned, a new CV boot on the offside here. Brakes eased all round, and apart from a little bit of work on a seat belt, there wasn't too much to worry about for MOT. We're going to go and take the car for an MOT. We're going to go to the usual place. We're going to go see my friend Neil of Kings of Stickney. He'll show us around the car. He'll show us the MOT procedure. And fingers crossed, it's going to be a year of advisory free motoring and we'll be back on the road with the A4 because the MOT is a couple of months out of date now but I hadn't actually driven the car since October 2022. Come with us then you'll be inside the cabin we'll take it for an MOT. I'm quietly confident with this one. Right let's do this. <laughs> Uh, I've got to get off the grass first because Mrs. John Cooper needed to get her car out the way this morning and I'd parked everything in the way. So actually she's driven the car this morning before me. Let's get turned around. Turn that barge around. Well, I'm gonna have to put the air con on. It's actually getting warm in here at seven o'clock in the morning. Oh no, tractor. Planting season, of course, here in Lincolnshire. Oh my god, more tractors! Oh, it's Tractor Central here now. We've got two... Tra oh, I'm in a tractor sandwich now. Well, I'm not going to overtake because I've got sort of half a mile left on this road. So I'll enjoy the waft. Would you believe it? These are getting quite rare on the roads now, the Audi A4 B5. Especially in this Jasper Green. And whilst filming my introduction, one drove past! Oh no, another tractor. Right, so I'm out, I'm out the drive and I'm on the way to the MOT test centre. I'm stuck behind a tractor at the moment. I'm doing 25 miles an hour. The joys of Lincolnshire, but it doesn't matter because I get to enjoy the waft of the Audi A4 B5. It's nothing special. It's a 1.6 litre petrol engine. It's not turbo. You could get the 1.8. You can get the 1.8 turbo. I think there's a 2 litre diesel as well. Um, but it's enjoyable, and as you can probably hear, it's whisper quiet. There's no knocks, there's no rattles, there's no bangs. The car really rides beautifully. I think that was one of the things that made me enjoy it for so long and makes me still hold on to it. I've got a friend who drives Jaguars. He's owned Rolls Royces, he's owned Bentleys. He's a prestige car man, and every time he gets in this car, he comments just how good it is. And if it's good enough for him, it's certainly good enough for me, because I'm a bit rough. When we get to the MOT test center, we'll have a chat with Neil. He'll do the exhaust emissions test first and foremost. He'll jot down the odometer readings. He'll check all the brakes, the tires, the wheels, all under the car. He'll do a full walk around of the process, check absolutely everything, lights, brakes, hand brake on his machine, window wipers, full works. I don't see there being any problems. I really don't. But Cavalier Attitude has got me in trouble before with this car when I took it to Neil after not taking it to Dad first and I'd got two broken back springs. And it did, it failed the MOT obviously. Looking forward to seeing underneath this car because as you saw in the pre-MOT video and in the CV boot repair video, all the suspension components are quite rusty. And they are. It looks like it's been under the sea for two years. But the bodywork, nice and solid. And apart from that missing trim, which you'll fail to notice, it's all good. I hope. 15 miles an hour for the past four miles. <laughs> Thanks for that. No, enjoy the waft. Enjoy the waft. I can't hear anything. Am I in an EV? That'll get the comments section talking. Yeah, say something about electric vehicles, John. 
That'll get the uh, comments section going. I'm going to be stuck behind this tractor until the end of the day. Watching, waiting, luring me into a false sense of overtaking security. Can you overtake? Yes, but oh no, there's an MG4. I'm stuck in a hybrid EV sandwich at the moment. I've got an MG in front of me and a Toyota behind me. I'm burning dinosaurs for all of us. In fact, the Toyota is pretty much nearly in the boot. So I could have a battery powered thing in the back. I've forgotten how much I love this car. 20, 30, 40, red line, 40, 50, 55, 60. It's so slow. It's so slow as an old girl. But that's exactly what it is. It's an old girl. Nyom. Now we're talking Vorsprung Dork Technique. Lincolnshire No Technique. At 60 miles an hour, it's ever so quiet. And it handles lovely around these corners. Oh, it drives beautifully. I'm going to commute in this. Oh. It's such a good car. There's no oversteer, there's no understeer, obviously. Grips to the road, which is ridiculous for a big old German barge. Those new suspension components that we fitted doing such a great job. This is the last of the great Audis, and actually, this puts more of a smile on my face than a 225 turbocharged TT Roadster. Because this is my car. This was the first car I owned after owning a K11 Nissan Micra. And imagine the difference. I had a cup holder, air conditioning. I could get a family of six in the car. I've got a boot big enough to put Mrs. John Koopman shopping in. And I've got four rings. An Audi. I thought it was a bee's knees. Right, we're just about to pull into the MOT test centre then. It's, uh, oh God, there's a Range Rover there for £2,000. <laughs> oh dear. No thank you. Oh. I sense financial and emotional problems for the person that buys that car. Anyway, uh, we're just pulling into the MOT test centre. We'll ha have a look around the car. We'll have a look around the centre. Here we go. I'm confident. I am confident. This is one I am not, not confident about. We're in. So as you just saw, I've pulled the car onto the ramp, ready for the MOT test. You'll see Neil in just a moment, but I'm having a wander around. First thing he's gonna do is depress the accelerator pedal to do the emissions test. We'll see the probe go into there first and foremost. There it is, there's the probe, and that tests the emissions coming out of the catalytic converter and the engine. And as you can see, it's 0.01, it's very good. Neil told me, hey, take a picture of this because it's really good, so that's always good good news. It looks quite good in this green, doesn't it, on, on the ramp? Same about that missing trim, but something we are going to get sorted. Neil does his initial walk around, has a look around the car, tests the seat belts, makes sure there's nothing visibly obvious before he gets hands on with the techie techie stuff, checking the brakes, checking the wheels, etc. Uh, it fills the ramp there and I take uh, some time just to do some nice shots there and a couple of YouTube shorts as well. One of the great things about Neil is he lets me get on with doing my YouTube video and lets me share this process with you guys. Up goes the car then, it's time to look underneath it. Dad and I have looked underneath it, as you know, and it was a little bit rusty um, on the suspension components, so I'm hoping it's not going to be rotten underneath. Still goes up <laughs> resplendent, like raising the Titanic. There she goes. Let's take a look underneath. And you can see, though, that white grease that Dad and I have sprayed, a little bit of surface rust 
on that rear subframe and on the straps holding the fuel tank. But apart from that, nothing major. There's certainly no rot of any catastrophic proportions and no rot that's going to cause us any issues. It does look like the original exhaust is slowly deteriorating on that um, skin on the back box. Neil's checking out the springs here. Uh, he's saying, oh, CV boot's been done. Yeah, it has. <laughs> Good spot. Up it goes again. I can check out the sills. This is the near side sill, and you can see it is absolutely solid. There's no blemishes or marks on there, and apart from it being a little bit dirty and needing a good old clean, no issues there at all. Now to go to the other side, a little bit of a bleb there, but nothing um, that's causing us an issue, and you can see there there's that mark that dad mentioned on the jacking point neil's now checking out the rear checking out the rear subframe checking out all the uh, components there brake pipes etc and it's a pass for that bit so down it comes uh, at least go back up again but there's uh, the wheel spinning freely goes up again just to have a final check of a few bits and pieces i must admit i don't know what he's doing at this point but that's not my job that's his and it's off onto the rolling road out into here to check the lights and uh, check the handbrake and the brakes now so rolling road tests the um, percentage of braking power it's all good he's checking the window washers and the wipers at the same time and the lights and uh, yeah not a problem at all mot process complete neil's all happy will it be a pass <laughs> there it is then uh, i've got my mot test certificate and uh, as you've seen in that video a thorough going over from neil no advisories a straight pass and actually what was the mileage last year oh crikey you're going to shout at me so eighty one thousand four hundred and eighty eight to eighty one thousand five oh eight you do the maths I've not been very far in the past few years in it. Uh, right, now to go home. I have had a good look, by the way, and a couple of cars on the local forecourt. We've got a Alfa Romeo Sprint Cloverleaf. It belongs to my friend Nock of DMC Motors. Uh, he's shown me around that. I've also looked at a smart car and a Citroen Berlingo uh, Quicksilver. Awesome. Right, home time now. What's the plan with the Audi A4? Uh, did I say Citroen Berlingo? I meant Peugeot Quicksilver, by the way. Um, anyway, what's the plan with the A4? Well, I'm going to go home, I'm going to park it up, and I'm going to give it a blooming good clean. Yeah. And then I'm going to enjoy it. I'm going to use it. It's a travesty that it's only done uh, 50 miles in the last year. But considering everything else in the fleet and the fact that I use the smart car to commute to work now I'm glad I've not put the 10,000 miles on it in the past couple of months work is ongoing then with the A4 we've got them side clips to sort out those um, bottom of the door rumble strips um, need doing and actually I've got a window to repair here now um, the regulator uh, broke yesterday and it's caused some quite deep scratches in that glass so we're going to swap the glass over with our donor a4 which is the one i say from the scrap yard so hopefully uh, i'm going to be able to put the car back on the road with no damage and um, get it looking beautiful if you've enjoyed this video thumbs up please if you haven't already done so i'm now stuck behind another tractor uh, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel and would like to, please consider doing so. Um, it's just two blokes in a shed in Lincolnshire messing around with old cars, but you subscribing and watching really does help fund what we do. Um, all the money that we make from YouTube revenue, by the way, we put back into the show, into the fleet and into the um, YouTube. So uh, I'm not you know, going to retire on this, but uh, hopefully you enjoy the content. And thanks to everyone that watches and to everyone that donates as well, because one thing I don't talk about is people um, donate to the channel quite a lot. So if you have donated to the channel recently, humbled, genuinely, thank you for all your donations. So next time, have a great day, whatever you're getting up to. Take care. Goodbye. If you've enjoyed this video, I've selected a few more specially for you on this page. Click either side to select them now. And if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button to always stay up to date with the channel.